Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to configure and deploy a Binance Futures grid bot and it will be trading BTC and the objective will be only long positions, no shorting. Now I will be deploying this bot to live fire. However, it is an experiment as I have not deployed this type of strategy on the Binance Futures grid bot in the past. So with that being said, this video is intended as a how to configure and deploy, not a how to copy. In addition to, I want to stress, this is a high risk strategy as it uses leverage and margin. So you need to do your own recon before you deploy a bot similar to this one. All right, that's enough jaw jacking. Let's get down to configuring this bot. So for starters, the first thing you obviously need to do is log into your Binance account. And from the menu across the top of the screen, you need to select derivatives and USDM futures. Once you select that, you'll arrive at your dashboard for the USD futures. And from the dashboard, you would click on grid trading over here in yellow letters. And you'll arrive at the configuration page for the grid setup. And you can select what coins you want to trade based on BTC USD Perpetual, ETH, EOS, Litecoin. But today I'll be trading BTC USD Perpetual contracts. And then I need to select my margin type and I select isolated as I want it to be isolated to individual positions by restricting the amount of margin allocated to each and that's my objective to manage my own risk and then i need to select the amount of leverage i'm going to go fairly high for me i typically stay around the 4x but 9x is towards the top of my limit and for this experiment i'm going to give it a shot with 9x leverage and so now my margin is isolated my leverage is set at 9x now we need to configure the lower and upper limit prices for this bot. For that, I typically look at the chart. Now I'm going to jump over to my trading view chart that I do all my tactical analysis on. And when I deploy a grid bot, I usually look at support and resistance. However, I'm going to give this bot a little more room to maneuver. And so rather than the 44,000 zone of support, I'm going to let it come down into just below the 382 on the Fibonacci at 42,000. And then as far as resistance, I will give the bot a lot of room to move up since the objective is a long position bot. So more than likely, if we set new all time highs, I'll be shutting the bot down, capturing that profit and redeploying. So if we jump back over to the config page, my lower price, I'm going to set at 42,000. And so my upper price, I need to look over at the current last price that Bitcoin's been trading at and try to dial that in. And we might have to adjust it as this goes, but I'm going to set that at 55,500. And that's going to correspond to my advanced setting of grid trigger. And the bot will become active once that price is hit. And in this case, I've chosen the 55,500. And with that being set, the grid orders will be triggered when mark price rises above the trigger price I entered. And the result should be with my upper price being 55,500. The grid will be built from 55,500 down to the 42,000 level. And so those will all be long positions in theory. I've not done this yet, so we'll find out. I might tweak this right before we launch the bot as the price is fluctuating live. Now the mode determines the amount of investment per grid and how that's distributed. And I choose geometric as the geometric grid has equal price ratio differences. And I selected 40 grids, which would give me a profit per grid, including fees of approximately 0.66%. Next is my initial margin. And so the minimum margin required to deploy this strategy is going to be right around 223 USDT. So I'm going to actually give it 225 worth of ammo of my initial margin. That's the amount I'm actually putting up. The initial margin is how much I am actually investing in this strategy. And then that would give me based on my 9x leverage 
a total investment of 2,025 USDT. And then under the advanced strategy options, we've already set our grid trigger. Now the stop trigger is how you would actually kind of set up your stop loss. And in this case, I have it set up. If the price of Bitcoin goes down to 29,000, I want the bot to stop. And if the price of Bitcoin moves up to 90,000, I also want the bot to stop. Now the 90,000, I'm not too worried about because I do monitor my bots. I'll be taking profit long before we ever get to this range. And in reality, again, if we get down to 29,000, the bot's going to move out of my buying range anyway. And I'd be stopped out already based on a margin call anyway. And so with that being said, my objective was basically to give the bot as much room to maneuver as possible. And if the stop trigger happens to get pulled, I have an option of what to do. And the first option is to cancel all orders on the stop. And that's obviously going to wipe out all the limit orders placed by the grid and then you have the option to close all open positions and what that will do is it basically sell your positions in bitcoin at the market price and i don't want to enable this feature as if the price was moving down and i hit the twenty nine thousand level without getting a margin call i've bought bitcoin at a lower price and i'm willing to hold that long term and so I don't want it to actually sell at the market price. I'll hold it and wait to sell at a future date. So that pretty much covers all the basic settings. So let's get this bot deployed. And so I've seen the prices dipped a little away from our price. I'm going to lower my upper price. All right, so the bot is all complete, ready to set up. I've adjusted down to 55.3 to try to match this last price and get a bounce up. I click create. It confirms everything I set up with my leverage, the price range of 42,000 to 553, the number of grids, the amount of Bitcoin per order, the profit per grid is approximately 0.65%. The initial margin I'm committing to the bot is 225 USDT. The total investment is 2,025 USDT. Trigger price of 55.3. My stop top and bottom prices are set. Click confirm and you see the grid was created successfully and it shouldn't trigger until we get above that 55.3. So let's jump back over to the chart and you'll receive a message that BTC USDT is in grid trading, manual trading, canceling orders or closing positions of the sy symbol terminates grid strategies. So if I was to start day trading BTC, that would actually terminate the grid. All right, so the price breached the 55,300 level almost immediately after deploying the bot. And you can see all my grid orders were placed in long positions. And now I think we actually just picked up one long position on the move down and we did. And so now I have a long position in BTC. And if the price was to continue to drop, I will have long positions in BTC. Now, because my upper level was the 55.3, it does not create any new sell orders above that level. So I will have to more than likely monitor this bot. And if this price continues to go up, I would more than likely need to manually close the position. However, if the price starts to retrace and take out these buy limit orders, the green lines on the screen here, then I should start to see red lines replacing these green lines with sell orders. Now, again, I've not deployed this strategy in the past, so I will have to wait and give this bot some time to maneuver so I can figure out what it's actually going to do. And so at this point, I'm going to wrap up the video and I will do an update video in the near future on how this is performing. So now would be a good time to shoot that subscribe button. If you like this video, do me a favor and spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down in the comment section down below. Or you can hop over to the Recon Traders Telegram community and post your questions and comments there. In closing, remember... Never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.